The fire's been burning for three months now, warming the striking workers here. They are the latest victims of Europe's economic crisis. Say goodbye to the sprawling Ford factory in eastern Belgium. It's shutting down. With Europe in recession, Ford's not selling enough vehicles. It's a disaster for a region here. Uh, there are 11,000 jobs they are lost here in, uh, in this area with Ford. So we hope there's another jobs. But I'm feeling very insecure for the future. Insecure and angry, which is why the workers have impounded 7,000 cars. Ford's product now a brand new bargaining chip in their redundancy negotiations. What's happening here shows how the Eurozone debt crisis is becoming an economic and social crisis across the whole of Europe. The last few years were about helping the heavily indebted countries in the south of the continent. The next few years are also going to be about helping these, the core economies. It's not only the big firms in trouble. The Vestraten family chemicals business is struggling. It's just as bad here, they believe, as it is in Spain. If you see the number of un unemployment, the number of bankruptcy of companies going bankrupt, the difficulties to have some money, uh, I think it's exactly uh, the same situation. Here in Belgium as, in Belgium. as elsewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, northern Belgium is still one of Europe's richer regions. Unemployment is far below the record levels in southern Europe. But even here, more and more are coming to the food banks for handouts. Among them, Tanya Fudefort, a single mother whose benefits will soon be cut as the government reduces spending. I see it's getting worse. There's a lot less food to go round here and there are more people. As for jobs, it's really difficult to find work. Difficult for many. In nearby Brussels, officials speak of signs of improvement. But out on the streets, Europe's big economic freeze is setting in. Matthew Price, BBC News, Belgium.